I'll stick closer this time. Uh, I do want to uh, thank some of our wonderful speakers who are here today, uh, some of our community leaders. Uh, first off, and I want to thank uh, Billy Jones. Come on up, Billy. Uh, Mr. Billy Jones is our assemblyman from the uh, District 115. Billy comes to every event we have, no matter, no matter where we are. Uh, it's probably easier for you when, when we're in Plattsburgh, but... Uh, I, I'm an hour away from everything, so uh, either way, it's an honor to be here. So, um, I'm, uh, seriously, I want to thank Billy for all he does for us and for supporting us as he has. So, um, Assemblyman. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, like I said, it's an honor and a pleasure for me to be here. And uh, I want to thank Kelly. I want to thank the Adirondack North Country Gender Alliance. I want to thank all the board members and especially the sponsors that come out and support um, these events all the time. Over and over they do it. Kelly had mentioned we, we've done this in Plattsburgh for numerous years, but it's great to be here in the Tri-Lakes area. So I just want to keep it brief. Um, and uh, certainly I want to get around to all the vendors. But thank you for everything that you're doing to support the rights that we so desperately fight for. There's been a lot of, or a few decisions lately from a higher court. And let's not rest easy and think that they're done, because they're not. As shocking as Roe v. Wade was yesterday, or the day before yesterday, it still seems like Friday. They are coming after our rights. They're coming after your rights. They're coming after everything that we deem to be equal and inclusive. So let's remember that. I don't want to get too political here, but let's remember that in November, in the following November, in the following November. We have to be very leery of this. And like I said, as shocking as that decision was the other day, we have heard from the courts that they will continue. Right to privacy. Marriage equality. Contraception. We need to be vigilant, people. We need to stand up for our basic human rights. We need to continue to do it. Please, please keep the efforts up and remember that. Remember that when you go to vote. Remember that when you go to advocate for things. Remember that when you're talking to politicians like me. We don't need the government in our bedrooms. We don't need them in our medicine cabinets. We don't need them in those places. We should be able to decide for ourselves and you should be able to decide. Please remember that. It's an honor to be here. I will continue to support and fight for your basic human rights here in New York State. Be lucky that we are here in New York State and that we have done and taken measures to do that. And we will continue to do that and I will fight with my colleagues to continue to do that. Thank you very much. Happy Pride. Please celebrate. Be inclusive. Be equal. Let's keep encouraging people to do that. And let's do it with our voices and our votes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Billy. And I want to echo uh, some of what you said. And I want to uh, talk about the fear. Because it only takes one election for us to lose everything. So we have to be very diligent uh, here in New York State. We're thankful for the rights and what we have. Uh, but we don't want to lose those because uh, it only takes one election for everything that we have, every protection, to suddenly disappear. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And thank you, Kelly, and all the good work that you do. Thank you. Uh, next up, I want to introduce Mary Fontana. Mary is the... Uh,